Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Today we'll continue on the anatomical landmark of the complete denture Sorry for being late uh, for updating our videos Because we are We have going on the Hard work or hard period of times So we already uh, Have been discovered on the previous lectures On the anatomical landmark of the complete denture uh, we describe the anatomical landmark and its definition and we say that there is two types of anatomical landmark extraolar and intraolar uh, the first lecture we talked about the extraolar anatomical landmark and on the previous also lectures we uh, covered uh, the maxillary anatomical landmark today we will talk about the uh, mandibular anatomical landmark so in the maxillary we talked it about uh, on three lectures, supporting and re uh, limiting and relieving structures. Uh, and this is the maxillary anatomical landmark. Today we're talking about the mandibular landmark. Uh, especially on this lecture, we will talk about uh, supporting structures. And uh, the next two lectures, we will talk about the limiting structures and relieving structures of the um, mandibular anatomical landmark. اليوم راح نتكلم على المانديبولار سبورتنج ستركشرز الاجزاء اللي هي تعطينا السبورت او الدعامه للدنشر الطقم سو وي هاف ثري اناتوميكال سبورتنج لاند مارك اوف ذا مانديبول وان از ريزيديوال الفيولار ريدج ذيس از ذا ريزيديوال الفيولار ريدج اند وي ديسكرايب ذات ريزيديوالز مينز ذير از نو تيث اون ذا الفيولار بروسيس عرفناها تكلمنا عليها سكند بارت از the buccal shelves and the buccal shelf is considered as primary stress uh, peering area peering area يعني هي المنطقة اللي uh, تستحمل الـ 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 القوة اللي تيجي عليها بشكل يعني قوي so the primary stress peering area is the area where the occlusion force is vertically or at the right angle of uh, the area يعني هذا uh, الالفيلو process or نقدر نقول اللي هو uh, البقل شلف بيكون كذا والقوة المض or المستكتري force or occlusion force بتيجي بشكل عمودي at the right angle على زاوية 90 تقريبا عشان كذا سميناها primary stress bearing area to know the difference between primary and secondary stress bearing area, you should go back to the previous lectures. Uh, the third structure is mylohyoid ridge. So let's consider each one individually. And we will talk in the next lecture about the limiting structures, which is labial frenum, labial vestibule, buccal frenum, buccal vestibule, written water bed, and the lingual frenum, and the uh, alveololingual sulcus. This is on the next lectures. Also, uh, after that lecture, so we will talk about the re relieving area, uh, mental forming area, uh, genial tubercle, torus mandibularis, sharp mylohyoid ridge, and crest of knife edge, and the sharp pony prominence. This we will uh, explain it in the next uh, two lectures, inshallah. So don't be worried about this, forget about it. We will consider today about the supporting structures. supporting structures. So, mandibular supporting structure. First, we talked about the residual alveolar ridge, the crest of the alveolar ridge, which means, uh, let's say this is the mandible, and uh, this is the alveolar ridge or uh, the residual alveolar ridge, and the crest of the residual alveolar ridge is a prominent kind of P-sharp area of this surface okay this is a small explanation يعني كشكل مبصل الكريست of the alveolar ridge هو الجزء البارز من residual alveolar ridge uh, the bone of the crest sorry the bone of the crest is cancellous uh, cancellous means spongy Spongy. You can see some of the crest of the uh, the bone of the crest is uh, cancerous. يعني uh, في مسامات. So it's not 
good area for support يعني هذه uh, المنطقة ما هي منطقة كويسة للسبورت as the crest منطقة العليا okay uh, in nature and it's covered by keratinized mucosa uh, تكون فيها الكيراتينز لأنه بيحصل فيها الماستيكاتري فورس أغلب الوقت فالكيراتينز we know that is help for mastication and prevent uh, the soreness of uh, the mucosa احنا نعرف انه الكيراتين هذا بيساعدنا على المضغ وكمان بيحمينا انه ما يحصل تقرحات في uh, الأغشية now we talked about the crest so now we talk about the slope of the residual ridge the slopes is uh, this kind of area هنا هي السلوبس يعني منحنيات كده تمام هذه السلوبس وهذا الكريست لو جينا نوصفها آه يعني زي كده هذا السلوب ومن الجهة الثانية برضه نفس الشيء هذا السلوب منطقة من انتقاء الاثنين هي الكريست so these are two slopes on the lingual surface on the palatal surface and the junction between them is the crest so now we're talking about the slopes of the residual alveolar ridge. It has a thin plate of cortical bone, considered as a secondary stress-bearing area. If you saw or concentrate, it's cortical bone. We have two, two, two types of bone, uh, cancellous or spongy bone and cortical bone. So cancellous or spongy bone uh, have a porosity and it's... Um, it has a pores, okay, or a holes. فيها هو يجي زي الإسفنج ويكون فيه فتحات أو فراغات. أما the cortical bone فهو is compact bone. يجي صلب وما فيه فتحات. فعشان كذا إحنا ما اعتبرناها إن stress bearing area أو the crest وما هو منطقة حلوة للسبورت. But on the slopes we consider it as a secondary stress bearing area. Okay, secondary stress bearing area for the mandibular alveolar process so why is not a primary stress bearing area as we already described the primary stress bearing area is that uh, can uh, withstand the vertical uh, force of the occlusion at the right angle and if you consider the slopes is secondary because it's prevent or um, withstand the horizontal Okay, horizontal or lateral force. يعني ال secondary stress هي تحميك من ال القوة اللي تيجي من الجنب. لكن primary هي اللي تيجي أفقية وعلى زاوية تسعين. Because the wall is steep acts as acute angle of the occlusion force. يعني إنه تكون حادة وتكون لنا زاوية حادة في ال ال occlusion force. إنه هو هذا. The second part is the buccal shelves, and the buccal shelves is this area. Okay, this is the buccal shelf in this area on the cast, and in this area of the uh, patient. This is the buccal shelf, and uh, the buccal shelves, as we consider it, is uh, a primary stress bearing area, and this is most important in MSQs. Primary stress bearing area of the mandible is the buccal shelves. So it's bound anteriorly by the buccal frenum. So this is the buccal frenum anteriorly. من الأمام تكون محاطة بالبكر فرينم. Posteriorly by the retromolar bud, and this is the retromolar bud. Okay, and this is the retromolar bud. It's not up here here, but it's supposed to be here. Okay, retromolar bud is a connections of group of muscles. Okay, يعني منطقة التقاء مجموعة من العضلات. هنتكلم عليها in next lecture إن شاء الله. We will talk about the retromolar bud. Uh, on the, I think, relieving structure. Uh, so uh, let's continue. So anteriorly by the buccal uh, uh, frenum and posteriorly by the retromolar bed. Medially by the crest of the ridge. This is the medially, this is the crest. This is the crest, medially, okay? Or medially, the jewel family, the crest of the ridge. And external, uh, okay, and laterally by the external oblique ridge. So this is the external oblique ridge. We have here, um, kind to be here, external oblique ridge from that side. Hadi and wasfaha generally. So uh, the bone is uh, very dense on the buccal, 
فريمو and covered with less keratinized and loosely attached uh, when compared to the crest significance أهميتها the importance of the buccal shelf um, in spite uh, of non-variable mucosa considered as a primary stress bearing area important notes okay uh, so uh, it's primary stress bearing area why it's primary stress bearing area because uh, uh, it's at right angle of the vertical occlusion loads and covering by the dense cortical bone and we say cortical bone is impact bone يعني صلب عظم صلب يكون غير كده انها تيجي vertical force مع يعني بشكل عمودي على ال vertical force المايلو هايور ريج نمبر 3 uh, it is a pony ridge uh, found on the lingual side this is this is the um, uh, mylohyoid ridge it's front here and there is also here mylohyoid ridge okay uh, of the mandible near to the inferior border of the mandible okay uh, inferior border of the mandible in the incisor region okay this is the inferior border of the mandible okay uh, as it goes from upward downward until here so it's inferior border of the mandible on the incisor region this is the incisor region and the mylohyoid is near to the inferior border this is the inferior border at the incisor uh, uh, area and this is the end of the mylohyoid so it's near لانه هنا منطقة الانسايزر و وال وال والمايلوهايد ريتش يجي مايل كذا يكون نازل تحت في منطقة إيش الانسايزر اريا uh, and become higher higher a posteriorly tear to terminate at uh, just distal to the area of the third molar زي ما قلنا إنه هو جاي لفوق كذا so it's higher on the distal area and this is the third molar and it's distally to the distal uh, to the third molar عشان كده هو تجي يعني وهي طالعة تكون طالعة إلى الخلف distally وكمان بنفس الوقت تجي يعني خلف الثيرد مولر يعني ينتهي خلف الثيرد مولر uh, طرس العقل uh, okay it's give attach to the mylohyoid muscles which form of the floor of the mouth عندنا the floor of the mouth uh, أرضية الفم uh, تكون تغطيها uh, muscles عضلة تسمى المايلوهايود muscles المايلوهايود muscles ترتبط uh, في المايلوهايود bone uh, المايلوهايود ridge and uh, sorry uh, المايلوهايود ridge and the hyoid bone so uh, this is are the mylohyoid muscles so the mylohyoid ridge is uh, uh, considered as uh, uh, supporting structure. So the significance of the mylohyoid ridge, ahmiyat, uh, or the importance of the mylohyoid ridge, should include it in the denture peering area. يعني لازم إحنا نحطه as a supporting structure. Sharp, prominent ridge, اللي هنتكلم عليها في relieving structures. ولاحظوا إنه إحنا تكلمنا في البداية في relieving structure quickly. Sharp mylohyoid ridge. Okay. هذا راح نتكلم عليه محاضرة قادمة. So if if on the leg structure, we will talk about it. So, if uh, there is a sharp, prominent uh, ridge, should be surgically corrected, otherwise relieved. يعني يا إما إذا كان حاد مرة نشيله, or if it's small, we just uh, make a relief. يعني نسوي تخفيف عنه. Thanks for watching, and sorry for being late for updating our videos. Uh, so don't forget like and share and comment and subscribe, and Give us your opinion on down on the uh, comment section. See you soon. Wassalamu khitam.